Hello and welcome back everyone to some more Heavy Rain. So I'm guessing the next thing we've got to do is go and do another trial. So I believe this is the last one because we've done three now, haven't we? I thought there was only four, so... I believe this is the last trial here. It just suddenly got really cold in my room. There's ghosts around me, clearly. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Kill him, send a picture, get your reward. What the fuck? I mean, so far we haven't done anything wrong. And now... Are you... Are you I, I don't even understand. Now we've got to kill someone. Okay, so now we're actually a danger to people. That's not good. Hey, look at me playing the piano. More good. I actually used to play piano. I gave it up, though. It wasn't really my thing. <clears throat> Prefer playing guitar now, anyway. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Quick time events like crazy! Jesus! Luckily, so far, it's only X and Circle and R2. Which, my fingers are kind of, like, prepared for those buttons now, although they are getting a bit quicker. That's not good. I don't know what I'd do if Final Fantasy started having quick time events in it. Like when they remake Final Fantasy X in HD for the, uh, either the PS3 or the PS4, which I'm really excited about. That's going to be my game of, you know, every year ever. But if they put quick time events in that, I'd be so... Your vodka, sir. Oh, he drinks like me. Yes. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... It's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. The hell's he talking about? You know what? What, Voldemort? He who must not be named! Well, that was a quick journey to the uh, surface of Mars here. Okie dokie, clues! Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Well, yeah, that's true, you never know. I was about to say that. Bastard. Uh, let's see. Analyze, geoanalysis. Let's analyze it. Yep, fast forward version. You're definitely going to see something in the fast forward version. Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? So he is the killer. I don't know. No data for geoanalysis, alright. Is there anything else we can review, or...? Okay, so we got the tire tracks, we got the dog, we've already done those, the flower, uh, the car. Eddie, we can't see the driver's face. 
Let's just analyze it for a second. You never know what you might find. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Geoanalysis at all, or...? Nothing? Alright. Well, I'm guessing that your clues aren't much help then, considering the ones we've already got. Whoa, 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 hold on, what's that? ID card? I don't, I don't remember getting this. Where did we get this? Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. That's pretty cool. Mad Jack. What a cool nickname. I'd love to be called Mad Jack. No, I'm joking. That kind of sounds like a crazy name, doesn't it? Oh, shit. He's bleeding again. That's not good. Oh, one last thing, sir. Holy shit, what the fuck? You should be careful not to overindulge in your walk. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit, it's... It's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. What the fuck? What, so I've got to, like, over... Not to overindulge in whatever that whatever's in that tube. I thought he meant overindulge in, like, the Ari thing. Why is he using it if it's so dangerous? I mean, who thought this technology up? What, is he Batman? No one's Batman! Jesus! You know, it'd be pretty cool to stay permanently in the underwater place. That'd be pretty cool. Get back! Get back, you crazy fucker! Stay back! Stay away from the tube! Stay away from the tube! What's on that TV? Jesus Christ! Why is it always in the forest? Don't go to the forest, that's where Snow White lives. You might get killed by the Huntsman. I actually really want to watch that film. What's going on? Can we like, move back at all by ourselves or...? Yep, yep, stay away you crazy fucker. Just stay in this corner, stare out the window for a minute. You'll be alright. No, 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 stay there. Okay, so... I'm guessing we're supposed to just resist. I think we're supposed to just, like, you know, resist uh, going towards the tube. I'm not sure if we're meant to resist the tube or resist the Ari effects thing. Oh my god, what's he doing? He threw the pillow at the wall! What that pillow ever did to you? Son of a bitch. Are we gonna be alright? Let's go to the bathroom. Maybe washing off our face would be a good idea. I don't think vodka. Will help much, to be honest. I mean, let's think about this here. Alright. That's it. Give yourself a good stare down. It's gonna turn into Incredible Hulk now. Watch him, like, start having a fit and then he'll turn all green. Like, Alright, wash your face. Wash your face. Because you know that always helps in the movies. You know, he still, need, he still needs to uh, sort out that nosebleed he's having. No, no, no. Wait, throw it. Get rid of it. It's the only way. Toilet. The toilet! The toilet! Come on, you can do this. Where the fuck's the toilet gone? Jesus! I lost the toilet. What's going on? Oh, there it is. Yeah, get fucked. Now you've got no choice but to resist. What are the odds that Blake comes in, finds him like this, and then he gets in trouble for using an, like some unauthorized equipment or something?
Why is there so much ticking? Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? Oh, wait, there he is. Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? This is Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this, this calls for a celebration. I've just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Really? You're going to be drinking on an investigation? Nice to see Manfred again. Just like... Just like old times when the phone Could is you ringing. Old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Wait, where's sure, the no phone? Problem. Where the hell's the phone? It's by Lauren. Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get it before it stops ringing. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. What an old phone. I mean, who even uses them phones anymore? My grandparents don't even use that phone. Well, to old friends. Uh, bottoms up. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No. Well, let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, oh, Sure, please? I'll get it. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Yeah, no shit. Can't answer the phone for yourself, can't look at a letter yourself. I mean, what can you do, really? Why did we come here, Scott? Why did you bring me here? Alright, here's your fucking magnifying glass. Wait, you want me to hold it for you? Thanks. Well, let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Hmm. The Royal Five. Hmm. Yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock of spare parts for a song in 64. Uh, well, they were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> well, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, 
If you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. But what if it didn't need fixing? You might just be going on like some wild goose chase here. Oh my god, I hate those things so much. Grandfather clock, really? Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. Why? How do you even know that? The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. I should take a look. Been a while since Manfred went into his office. Oh, okay. I should take a look. It's not really been a while. It's been like five Hello? seconds. Manfred. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? What the fuck? What the fuck happened? Why was he calling the police? Oh my god. He's dead. Oh god. What the fuck? Why was he calling the police? And why... How... I don't even understand how he died. What? Oh my god, it's a mind fuck! Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. What are you doing, Lauren? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of oils when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. What are you doing, bitch? All right. So wait, wait, wait. Hugo. So we touched. We touched the phone. And we also touched the magnifying glass. Yeah, rub that. Rub that good. Okay, so where's the magnifying glass? I think the magnifying glass is over here now. Yeah, we touched the magnifying glass. I think we touched the uh, the glass as well. Like the... Um, how, do, how do you call it? The uh, the little shot glass. Oh, a circle this time. Alright, you want to change it up? I think those are the only things I touched though. I mean, I don't remember... I mean, maybe the door. We touched the door. We obviously touched the door, but... I mean, isn't, isn't that going to have everyone's fingerprints on it? Like, not just ours. Uh, I think we looked at this thing over here, but I don't remember actually touching it. Well, let's see. Where's the front door? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, shit. Lauren touched that, didn't she? Oh, man, you got to really pay attention in this game. You can't forget a thing. Uh, what else did she touch? I think she was, like... Wasn't she over here somewhere, like, looking at something before, when we came in first? Uh, let's see, the front door. Oh, why have you got to do this? I hate doing this one. Okay, I think that's everything. No, 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 that's everything. I'm almost finished. Where did we leave Prince? Gotta remember. Fast. Uh, we have to clean Lawrence Prince, too. Don't want her to be mixed up in this. Anything else? Quick! Gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. 
I don't remember touching anything else though. We're running out of time. We gotta move faster. But I really don't remember touching anything else. Oh wait, no wait, didn't we touch the phone in here or something? Oh no no no, the window. Yes, of course. Is that everything? Poor old man. He didn't deserve to go like that. The glasses. The telephone. What else? Anything here or...? The police will be here any second. Gotta get out now. How the hell do we get out? Lauren, let's go, baby. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Yeah. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. So, come on, let's go. Well, I don't remember touching anything else. Oh, the phone! Come on! I did try searching for the phone, but it didn't work. There was no option to clean the phone. It wasn't even there. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? Well, well, Scott Shelby. You in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. You on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. Where are we going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go home and let me get on with my investigation. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car! Oh shit, what are you doing? What is wrong with you, you bitch? You're gonna kill us both! If you're not gonna help me find the bastard who killed my Johnny, I'll do it on my own! This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. Oh, you know what? Let's just go get her. Laura!
Why is she just standing in the rain? You miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Shit, really? Oh my god. Is this the point where we have to kill someone in the game? Yeah. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. Hey! Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brain out, you son of a bitch! Oh my god, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, he's got a shotgun! No, 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 no! Oh, fuck, use the guitar! Jesus Christ, we're on even run! Oh fuck! Well that escalated quickly. Oh shit, Jesus. I'm not even a junkie asshole. Holy fuck! Why has he got a load of little girl stuff around? Like is he a pedophile or something? Holy shit. Oh fuck! What the hell is the deal with it? Use the chair! What the hell is the deal with this? He's got a fucking shotgun, I got a pistol, that's not fair! Oh yeah, you're out of bullets now, you son of a bitch! Hold it, man! I give you whatever you want! You got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't shoot. He <laughs> fucking tried to kill me just now. What's wrong with him? I'm a Fuck father. Fuck this. But I have no choice. <clears throat> I didn't want to kill him at first, but after he tried to kill me, that's fucking bullshit, you know? He's going to die. There's no way. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh. He's vomiting. That's not good. Good lord. Some of the things you have to do in this game is just way too far and gruesome. I mean, we've pretty much seen everything at this stage, you know? I'm not sure what more they can throw at us. In the gun grip. What the hell? Oh, in the... Oh, okay. In the gun grip. I get it. You know, we could have just, like, probably found it out ourselves without killing the guy. But, ah, oh, well, fuck it. Deserved to die anyway with an arsehole. I 
I thought that was the last trial, what the fuck? I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. He used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. Well, this episode's run on for pretty long, and I'm probably going to keep it as one episode, so I'll have to say farewell here. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I shall see you all next time. So other than that, all I have to say is... Farewell! Come on, you son of a bitch! Yeah, now I'll get your drill. What you gonna do now, bitch? What you gonna do now? Oh,